if you only knew the power of the dark side. Welcome back to the channel everyone, it is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now I want to dig in deep on this video here, it seems the internet bully is back, Mr. Alan Roberts of Every Damn Day Fitness. Um, once again, you know, going in on Kenny KO, now it's funny because he's calling out Kenny KO about copying people's videos, yet he's promoting someone who copies his videos. Let me show you here. And I, I'm going to warn you, this is a bit of bullying here, so you're going to see a lot of, um, a lot of shit talk coming from this guy here. Check this out. Just, just ignore his bullyism. That much attention. By Kenny KO, you know, Dennis the Menace with a thyroid problem. I mean, we all know Kenny. Kenny, for like the last year or so, has been busting people out for photoshopping pictures, lifting fake weights, fake natties, uh, all that, all that shit, and uh, stealing other people's content. That's how I know him, because I... All right, first of all, now he's calling out Kenny KO from stealing Nick Strength and Power's content, which he did. Like I said, I'm, not, I'm, I'm in no way saving Kenny KO. He, he blatantly copied him. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'll be the first one to say, hey, I watched the Nick Strength and Power video and I saw how big they were getting. I'm like, shit, I want to make videos like that in that genre and I don't go and rip people's videos like that. I don't do what, you know, Kenny did to him, but I'll make a video on the subject. You know, I might use some of the same pictures, you know what I'm saying, that some guys use because the picture is about the subject itself. But actually copying the guy video and yeah, I didn't do that. Now listen, um, he's trying to bust this guy about copying people's videos, but I do know a guy by the name of, ah, damn, I can't think of this guy's name. Wow. Was you guys, you, you guys know the other guy, Robert Frank. There we go, Robert Frank. You know, he makes his videos doing what? In his car, doing his high level octane rants. You know what I'm saying? That's the originator I saw doing this here. Now, a lot of YouTubers do their videos in their car. You know, it's not the first time we've seen that, but making it, you know, your your thing, you know, that's his thing. And then this guy here, obviously, every damn day fitness is a hypocrite because he's copying him. And now in order to get his buzz up in the YouTube game, he's doing what? Calling out Kenny KO for copying, um, you know, Nick Strength and Power. He's calling out V Shreds for copying Athlene X. And then he's promoting a guy, and I've shown him, you know, look, uh, I've watched this video. He's saying how this guy roasts, and he's roasting, and you know, he's roasting. Uh, let me see if I can get, I want to hear, I want you to hear him saying that verse. I was busting out, well, actively am busting out V-Shreds for stealing Athlean X content, and he made a video on that shit too, and I'm like, hey, never heard Riveting of this motherfucker tale, 200, subscribers. You never heard of Kenny K.O.? Please, come on now, come on. You know Kenny's around. That's why you, you, you waited till Kenny got his weight up. And he blew past everyone. You haven't hit 50k yet. You know what I'm saying? I haven't even hit 2k yet. He passed. He's, he's, he's on his way up. And now that he's on his way up, you want to leech off of his buzz by being a hypocrite. Shit. Uh, thank you very fucking much. Uh, I even left some fucking uh, uh, some comments and everything like that. Fucking like this shit. Because fuck, the more exposure that fucking gets, the better. Because I the better to me. Um, even sent him a couple messages on Instagram saying, hey, uh, I'm here. Uh, just skip past some of the fluff. I can't. I can't. You know, I just want to find the part where he's promoting this Elliot guy. I'm going to show you Elliot here. Nick Strength of Power's video about Brad Casperi lifting 675 pounds. And then Kenny KO's video totally ripping off Nick's and Strength of Power's video. We know uh, that. Erasing Nick's words and just re-uploading it with his own fucking words. Pretty much Nick's words just in his own. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, you're sitting in your car ranting trying to be the next Robert Frank. I watched Robert Frank build his thing from 1,000 subs up to where he is now. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's really, you know, like I said, the YouTube fitness industry is pretty much everyone copying everyone. Let's just be 100% honest and you're copying someone right now. And I, I come out and say, that's why they don't like me because I came out and say, hey, you know what? I saw Nick Strength and Power type videos, the editing with the uh, Instagram showing the desktop screen. I said, well, shit, people like to see that. Look at the buzz he's getting. I'm going to do some too. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Now, as far as just ripping someone's own video, yeah, and I'm not for that. But, but. Own fucking voice. And that's the video that to fucking make a fucking peep, make a fucking video, make a fucking little ass fucking noise even about somebody else stealing somebody's content. You piece of fucking shit. Unfucking believable. <laughs> 
<laughs> he should be looking in the mirror right now because he's sitting in the car literally doing what he just said and and the fact i don't know it's like these guys take this a little too serious because you see me i'm not up here Alan roberts you million effort you mfr you it's like that's the only way people to watch what he has to say no one cares about what this old man has to say at all you know he has to down and degrade people you mfr you piece of shit you know like what is going on you know what i'm saying go get some better muscle get in your in your lawn chair and have you know kick back and watch i don't know do something man you know learn how to bird call or something go relax it's not that serious come on man let me play some more of this crap but i want to get to the part where he's just promoting this elliot guy because elliot he's the dude's channel is you know it has no content at all at all go to his channel it has no content but this guy's promoting him as if he's some fitness. Oh, he, he he slayed this guy. He destroyed this guy. I watched a few minutes of that video. I said, no, it's just um, your, your friend sitting there in his car doing the same thing that you're doing, which is what Alan Roberts started with the in the car video rants. So one of the fucking guys who was accused of being a fake natty busts Kenny K.O. out for fucking photoshopping his fucking pictures, right? Kenny's like, no, no, I can prove it was just for a fucking... Okay. Because right. And I can prove it because when Louis Marco called me out on it, I told him it was for an experiment. Bitch, that's not proof. That's just the excuse you used that some dumbass believed when you got called out by him. That's not fucking proof. That's the that's still a fucking excuse. You might know how the fuck it does. That doesn't make sense to anybody else. That's why you're in a predicament you're in. Because you see now, he gets fucking slayed by my motherfucker Elliot Atwell. Slays his ass for the fucking Photoshop and things. So of course, <laughs> Slade, <laughs> this guy here, <laughs> Slade, he, he, he <laughs> what did he slay? Besides, <laughs> a little, I can't, I can't even, I can't do it. You guys know I want to go in so fucking hard, but I'm not. Because YouTube is not going to allow bullying, even though they allow these guys to do it all day long. But I'm not even going to go in on this guy here. So even his fingers. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You, uh, I'll speak to you through osmosis. Mm, you know what I want to fucking say, but I'm not. Listen. Advice: If you're gonna give a cop out canned response, make sure it's not self-refuting. Now you're in a bit of a predicament because the only people that are gonna buy the excuse that you just gave are the naive kids that are gullible enough to think that Michael Hearn and Simeon Panda are lifetime natural. I was gonna make this video. And it was going to get millions of views, guys. This was going to be one of my biggest videos. Why did the video just get... I got bored looking at that right there. <laughs> that part. You, you and Michael Hearn and Simi Amanda are being nanos. Jump cut. Jump cut. Look left and right. Jump cut. That's a sleigh. Get out of here. I've been roasting you. I've been ripping these dudes new ones for the longest. And, they, and he does not. Like I say, Alan Roberts is afraid. Look at, look at him. He's afraid of Damian McLeod. He will not speak my name. Yeah, he's promoting some guy. Like, I don't want promotion from this guy because we're not buddies. This is not, oh, he won't promote my channel. Why don't you let No, I don't like these guys like that. These guys are what makes the fitness industry what it is. It's turning into this shit talk fest. It's supposed to be about people wanting to lift weights, but they're building that platform because no one cares about what they have to say about lifting weights. They know that. So you have to talk shit in order to get it up. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's hard to get your buzz up in the fitness industry because other fitness YouTubers don't even promote other fitness guys, me included. Because I started out just making videos, just pumping iron. And people saw how badass that was. Even before I got my DSLR, I was in there slapping up 290 for reps. And when people see that, they're like, you know what, you know, I, I'm watching out for that guy. I don't want to be, you know, he, like, he can take over, which I am going to take over. So you know what I'm saying? I, I understand why you branch off into different genres, but he's using shit talk to push fitness. Just like some of these guys use steroids to push fitness. It isn't fitness. Because now that you got the audience, you're still spewing the same rhetoric. And like I said, allegedly, some people have been saying, I don't know, I've never seen him take anything, I'll say that. But allegedly, these are just, you know, Alan Roberts is just an older guy, kind of like Mark Lobliner. People say allegedly, they take TRT 
and they put on muscle. I've never seen them take anything, so I'm not going to sit here at all and say that they've taken anything. Because I haven't seen them. But people are saying that, and I'm just saying what people are saying, that these guys are taking TRT and they're you know promoting natural and they're giving advice as if they spent the years and years and years and years and grind in the gym. When in reality, when we all know when you take enhancements, you don't have to put in that type of effort. The enhancements, the enhancements do the work for you. You get what I'm saying? So that's, you know, I, I just wanted to chime in on that because, you know, once again, this guy is sitting here in his car with his spitting his hot breath rhetoric going in on Kenny KO. And like I said, I am no way saving Kenny KO. You know what I'm saying? I'm still waiting for Kenny KO to respond. You know what I'm saying? Kenny KO won't dare respond either. I got a few videos about him and the Heba Ali situation. You know what I'm saying? Check that video out. You know, these guys have a habit of ignoring, you know, there's a reason why vegan games won't debate me. You know, there's a reason why um, Kenny KO won't debate me. I mean, I won't, won't acknowledge, you know, <laughs> there's a reason why. There's a reason why Steve Shaw is gonna show up on my Facebook page and post a video and post a picture trying to start shit about me allegedly buying fake subs, which I didn't fucking do. But um, there's a reason why Alan Roberts. There's a reason why Jason Blaha. I got a video on Jason Blaha that went big, but there, there's a reason why he hasn't responded yet. But he'll sit there and make Cali muscle. Um, booty warrior videos day after day after day trying to roast people he'll go after um uh what's that other um cookie cutter guy uh I can't they're not important i don't even think i don't know their names um the, the 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 fake bruce wayne dude um damn it damn it damn it Ke uh, for keto keto body yeah keto body there's a reason why he goes after keto body because they have buzz you know they don't want that smoke i'll say that you know what I'm saying? If I had now, let's say I had 200k subs, it'd be Damien videos all day long. And eventually, once I do hit that level, there will be video Damien videos all day long coming from these dudes. Because trust me, every time they make a video bullying or trying, you know, doing what they do, I'm gonna be making videos about them, building my weight up, you know, exposing the hypocrisy. Because like I said, you're calling out Kenny Keo from stealing content, but yet here you are sitting in your car stealing robert frank's content you get what i'm saying and then you promote this guy here sitting here in his car not that hate is that you're going to use deception in order to wait hold on, hold on hold make on. money hold on what say that again going to use that you gave wait 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 say that again say that again isn't that what your buddy's doing is that you're going to use deception in order to make money create a viral video and increase your viewership and Increase your subscriber base. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Isn't, isn't that what this guy's doing? <laughs> what are you talking about? The hypocrisy is amazing. This is ridiculous. These guys are. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm not even going to go in. You know what I'm saying? Because YouTube will, you know, like I said, Robert Allen, or Allen Robert, whatever his name is, he, I made a video about him a while back. It was like a, a parody joke. I was trying to make a little parody video. And he reported me so you know they can't take the heat but they always want to play around in the kitchen <laughs> you get what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna end this video right here i will be chiming in on this subject like i you know like i like i've been saying people are like where's the fitness videos at where are the lifting videos they're gonna come but until i get my buzz up because i've i've already pretty much made it you know realize that the fitness industry these guys they really don't like me you know what I'm saying? I'm looked at too much of a threat. And I've been told that by a lot of like fans and viewers, you know, they don't promote you. I've never seen anyone talk about you in a video. They see you there, but no one's ever tried to reach out and collab. Why don't you try to collab with these guys? I'm like, dude, do you know how many DMs I've sent out? Do you know how many inboxes I've hit? You know how many um intro offers I give? Because I don't just ask people for just, hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that? No, I'm like, hey, man, I'll make you an intro. It's like an intro for your channel. It's like a, a banner. I got people who still owe me um, shout outs who seem to act like they um, forgot to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's clear cut now on how I have to approach this thing. So I'm not going to sit there and edit, you know, crazy ass edited gym videos just to turn around and get 25 views max because the rest of these guys are avoiding me and they're not, you know, I'm not getting the same buzz. Every single YouTuber you've seen on here that has some weight in the game 
they got there because they were either shouted out or promoted or mentioned in a video of someone else who has subscribers. So it's kind of like it's a trickle down thing like this at wall guy. Look at his channel here. He has 11K subs, right? But those all just recently came because look at this. He has no videos. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven videos on his channel. There's no way you're hitting YouTube's algorithm with seven videos. You're not. Especially, you're, you're just not doing it. So when you got guys, you know, making videos like this and then they promote like this video here, 25,000 views. Fat Free Mass Index. Hmm. A V Shred video. I made a V Shred video not too long ago. He has 95K. You know, the people are, they're mentioned, you're getting mentioned. I made, how many Brad Castleberry videos have I made? Tons of them, at least 10. I made a, I made a freaking uh, Natty or Not video on Bradley Martin. And it doesn't hit the algorithm, but I don't see, you know, it's like you need to get that boost from other people. And once people get that boost from other people, they sit back like these guys here and they pretend like they're hot shit. When in reality, you're 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 benefiting off a spoken word people mention you in videos so that's that's pretty much the gist of it but eventually i'm getting in the game and like i said i'm like Voldemort. they dare not mention my name so i'm gonna end the video there i hope you guys liked comment subscribe 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 i am subliminally in your mind and like i always say until next time get to the gym do work and muscle up Series cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact. Came in you hoes, who else but mama's only son? But the phony niggas in the world say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready, stay watching now.